guys welcome to the start of a new weekly vlog i have just washed my hair done my makeup today is bank holiday thursday for the platy jubes <laughs> so yeah it's so nice having thursday off i'm fully indulging in enjoying bank holidays back before i met g when there was a bank holiday because i worked for myself i just didn't take them it was just another work day for me so now it's quite nice being able to like yeah take the day off work i want to show you what i'm wearing today i've got this old Abercrombie and Fitch dress on which is, I think it's called a tennis dress and I think it's still in stock but it's like an all-in-one and it's got these shilts built into it which I love I think it's great great for like yeah sports or if you're worried about flashing like maybe a festival they do it in loads of different colors yeah and I love this and so my best friend has a little boy and I thought maybe we'll be like running around with him a bit so I thought this like dress with built-in shorts would be good for that I'm really bloated at the moment and for the first time in ages I think it's because I started e eating cabbage this week which is definitely <laughs> one of my um flares that is not good but this dress luckily does kind of cover that which is nice I am gonna Dyson my hair really quickly and then I need to pop to the shops to pick up some snacky bits for lunch okay hair air wrapped finishing my cup of tea and um, I've just thrown on a shirt over it this is one of my favorite shirts ever I got it from a charity shop a long time ago in the men's department I don't know why I love it so much it just goes with everything and then my jewelry I've put on some earrings and a necklace I'm also gonna wear my little trench coat over this as well hey what <laughs> is it with on it after him, but you're like, three minutes later, it just arrived, and I was like, oh, right, now what do I do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even bat an eyelid. Oh. We are home from my friend's house. It was so nice, so nice to see them all. We had a really nice lunch, some cake, and had a good catch up, but now we're home, and we're making one of my favourite gusto meals for dinner. This is, I think, the third time we've made this now. I loved it so much, we actually cooked it for G's parents a couple of days before our wedding day as like a little dinner. It's a banh mi style chicken salad with sesame croutons and it's literally like just shredded chicken, carrot ribbons and some mint and coriander leaves with a really nice salad dressing. It's just, I think it's the mint and the coriander just make it feel so summery and light. So I'm making the salad dressing with hoisin sauce, rice vinegar, soy sauce, a little bit of sugar and then yeah gonna mix the salad in here and then g's on crouton duty with some sesame oil that they look so good here is our salad it looks so so good today is saturday and it is our deep house clean day so i'm about to transform the upstairs bathroom bedroom spare room into a nice lovely clean space to be in because it's currently looking awful it's just got hay fever tissues all over the shop just finished cleaning my hay fever is so bad today i'm like sneezing everywhere it's gross the house is looking lovely which is nice i've been so excited waiting for some orders to come this weekend because i got some of our wedding pictures um kind of like blown up and also i got loads printed like small ones so that we can include some pictures of all of our guests in with their thank you cards. I just thought that was a really nice touch because none of them have seen any of our wedding pictures yet. Oh my god, look how many I ordered. Um, and I thought it would be nice to kind of send them a picture or two of themselves from our wedding. Along with the thank you card and also just some of us. So I just ordered like this one for my neighbour, so a nice one of her and her boyfriend, some for my best friends, so I'm so excited now we can go through and find some pics and send them them so they can see what they look like on the day. Oh look at this really cute one of my aunt and uncle. Oh they're gonna love that, that is so romantic, I love it. I think it would just be a really nice surprise for some of them. So yeah, I've got a lot of pictures. I think I ordered, oh God, I can't even remember how many I ordered, but yeah, there's a lot there. And now I'm really excited to see the one that got blown up. I got it blown up a big size for me and G. And then I also got it a slightly smaller for my mum and his, for my parents and his parents. Boys, what's going on? This is our one. I'm gonna need to get a frame for it. It's A2 size, so it's huge. So excited. I hope it's good quality. Oh my 
booth. It looks amazing. Oh, that's so romantic. Oh, I love it. The colors are amazing. The details are amazing. See, so, yeah, I'm going to get a nice frame for that. Just went out for brunch. Oh my god, look at my nose. It's red raw. Oh, I don't really like chalk ice. Fancy chalk ice. Look what we found in the supermarket. Magnum bites. How cool do they look? I love a magnum. I'm gonna try one of these ones. What one did you have? Same. Hmm. Can I sneeze? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm changed into my dressing gown for dinner tonight we've got like a picnic indoors because i can't have a picnic outdoors because my hay fever is too bad oh this looks so good i've got some salad with beetroot uh, stuffed peppers loads of bread <laughs> loads of dips and we've got some little sausage rolls in the oven as well do we need any balsamic and if you want i'm gonna go get some right today on the hay fever diaries we're gonna be trying this this is pirates breathe clean daily nasal wash and apparently it's like a saline solution that helps soothe the inside of your nose and like clear it and like yeah help restore any like soreness or moisture and as you can see my nose is so red so i'm gonna try this i'm gonna try this thing i'm a bit scared about what it is okay so it's just like oh it's just like a bit of a mist so Oh, that's probably really unattractive. It doesn't feel any different, to be honest. So we're going to do some eye drops, and then we're going to watch a film. We've been going through some old classic 90s films recently. So last night we watched Seven, which I'd never seen before. I thought I had, but I had never seen it before, even though it's right up my street with Brad Pitt. Great. And then last week we watched Goodfellas. Also great. If you've got any film recommendations, guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what we should watch. Today is Sunday and I really felt like I needed to get out of the house, even though it's quite miserable. Um, so Jesus come with me to the local high street and we're just, basically I want to get some prints up on the wall today at some point, or this week. And I wanted some new frames for some of my pictures. So we're just popping into some charity shops to um, have a look. And I found some very cool ones so far. And um, Walthamstow's being transformed into an uh, arcade by looks of it today for the Jubilee. There's a mile, mile long street party with loads going on. Look at that. <laughs> the only frame in here I can find is this Rattan one, which I could probably try and recreate at home to be honest. Here are a look at the prints I got. I only got two from a charity shop and then I picked up two from Wilkinson's. Oh, this one's losing its um, print already, but yeah, I really like this kind of old kind of wooden gold frame. And then I got this little, another wooden gold one actually. These two go together quite nicely. And then also, yeah, our wedding prints, which I got a frame for from Wilkinson for my parents and G's. So we're gonna put these in now. When Krabby's first came out, I loved it. It was like all I drank at bars, not bars, pubs. Um, I haven't had it in a really long time, but I found this rhubarb flavour, so we're going to try it now. It literally looks like... <laughs> it mm! Delish. That's so good! If you can find the rhubarb flavour. Mm. Krabby's is alcoholic ginger beer, but this is rhubarb flavour and it's really, really nice. nice. It's ginger beer, but it's got that sweet rhubarb -y very British taste to it, very delicious. Recommend. Today is Tuesday and I am just doing my makeup today. I've got a busy day out, which I'm really looking forward to. During the week, I think it was at the weekend, um, I kind of sorted my office out in terms of, I set a timer for an hour. G and I literally just blitzed my office, like put everything back where it's supposed to be, took loads of stuff downstairs, moved my desk in the end, and also moved loads of products there that I need to sort through. So yeah, I'm just trying to work out the best way to film and put the camera for you guys because I've got windows behind me now which isn't 
the best for doing makeup. Today, I've got a morning at home doing editing, just getting things ready. And then I am going to Liverpool Street to go to my sister's wedding venue with my mum and also the florists, which are the same florists we use for my wedding. They're amazing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing Esther and Steph from Minu Flowers again. Oh my God, the flowers they did for our wedding was just out of this world they were even better than i could have imagined i gave them like a mood board and told them basically where we wanted the flowers and yeah they just exceeded all of our expectations it, it felt like we were in a fairy forest or something at our wedding yeah we're just kind of walking through the venue because her wedding is in like less than a month now it's so exciting that we're getting married so close together and i haven't actually been to her wedding venue before i've been to the church that they're having it at but not the actual venue so yeah i'm excited to see my mum and sister i am just feeling so naked without those eyelash extensions i had for my wedding i loved them so much and they lasted so long i feel like they lasted like a month um and they made me feel so pretty so i've been really like feeling the urge recently to wear false eyelashes just to feel that level of pretty again that's so lame but i've seen loads of people talking about that lashify brand where you can kind of do lash extensions at home so i was thinking of maybe trying that and reviewing them letting you guys know how they go as well if that's something you are interested in well yeah i feel like i just need a bit of a pamper i feel like i need to go and get my brows done oh i did buy a brow lamination kit as well online to review with you guys from a brand called sassy brows something like that so be a bit worried if it goes wrong like doing brow lamination before a wedding could be quite disastrous but i'm sure it'll be fine so charlotte tilbury sent me their new bronzer recently and i've been using it for about a week and i thought i'd show you it now it's called the beautiful skin sunkissed glow bronzer i've got the shade one fair pale i love the packaging is got the biggest mirror which is amazing and a huge pan of product and it was only after i'd used it like for a week that i realized it's a cream bronzer for some reason i thought it was powder maybe because it looks a bit like a powder but yeah i've been really liking it just a very natural kind of bronze i've been using it as my, like my bronze contour a little bit on the forehead and then i've been doing a little bit of yeah no my sister was supposed to be getting married before me she was supposed to be getting married in 2020 um but obviously covid happened which was really upsetting so this is like third or fourth time they've planned their wedding or like rescheduled their wedding and they were supposed to be getting married before me and g and we purposely booked our wedding for 2022 so that they could get married in 2021 but then my sister got pregnant and was due in 2021 so they pushed it back to 2022 um after we'd kind of booked ours so we it's ended up that we're getting married very close in time but i think that's really lovely it has been a lot of stress though i think for the family like in terms of my mum's doing a lot of the planning for my sisters yeah having to like think about two daughters getting married in the space of like two months has been a lot i can't wait i can't wait for her wedding i'm so excited I just can't wait to go to a wedding. I've got a couple more weddings to go to this year and I'm so excited for all of them because it feels like it's been so long since, yeah, we could really celebrate them. Oh. I'm vlogging. You're vlogging? I'm trying to work. Hi, babe. Oh, yeah, and then we've got my sister's home party this weekend, which is mega. I've been planning a lot of that myself, actually. I created an itinerary yesterday and that's being printed. It should arrive at some point this week. Yeah, so next week's vlog will... I'll show you kind of everything I've got planned for her hen, everything I'm taking with me, what we're doing. So if you guys are planning a hen for anyone, this might give you, my next week's vlog might give you some inspiration. I think I need to stop faffing with my face now and get on with some wear. We've also got a new setting spray to try from Urban Decay. This is their new all nighter with vitamin C and cactus flower. Oh, that feels so refreshing. Love that, I love the Urban Decay setting spray, it really works a treat. I don't know what to wear today, I think it's gonna be quite a nice hot day. My hair is looking a bit mad as well. I um, washed it and just put it in a little plait. <laughs> so it's a bit, just a bit wild. Kinda like it though.
So for my outfit today, I'm wearing some jeans, petite jeans from Stitch Fix. And then this really nice shirt I got from a charity shop. Yeah, it's originally from French Connection, but I picked it up in a charity shop. And I just really like the colour of it and the smartness. It's kind of long, but I've tucked it in. And I, yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. I'm going to just team this with some Converse and my trench coat. And I might also Dyson my fringe just to get that looking all right. long but very lovely day I'm just unpacking some flowers that I got I got some gorgeous Yorkshire peonies from a company called the blonde and the bloom on an event I went to today which was hosted by navy which is an amazing now care kind of tall brand they do a beautiful um cuticle oil and um like tools for professionals like in nail salons and I had a really nice manicure which was so needed I had a beautiful like just very nude shade and then G and I I've been really fancying Mexican food it's specifically Oaxaca we've been like craving it for so long and so I was so excited to meet up with G tonight to go to Oaxaca but they're all closed I think they're having like a staff party or something across all were hackers which is nice for them so we ended up going to this um madeira rooftop restaurant which we went to years ago before it was that restaurant like it's had a upgrade since then and it was exactly like a hacker but about three times more expensive and not as good so whilst the views of london were amazing i wouldn't really recommend unless like it's a special occasion and then seeing my sister's wedding venue was also very special. I cannot wait for her wedding day now. It's um, it's gonna be amazing, and it's so good as well because our weddings couldn't be more different. Like they're completely different venues. Um, it's gonna be yeah, it's just gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be such a gorgeous day. So I can't wait. How gorgeous are these peonies? I'm obsessed. I might I might um press these or put them out to dry or something because they're. Too beautiful to let die properly. 